Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial. If you ever experience problems with your Steam Deck on loading, installing certain games, um, I had this problem with this game, Jagged Alliance Rage. Um, if you don't know about this game, by the way, this is based off of the Jagged Alliance series, which JA2 was probably one of the best games ever made, especially with the the community uh, mod, I think it's 1.5 or something like that, but it's incredible. Anyway, this is a uh, newer version they made a few years back, uh, loosely based off of um, Jagged Alliance. So I wanted to try it on the Steam Deck because I love turn-based strategy and uh, this looks like it was right up my alley. So um, I downloaded it. By the way, any Steam games you do want to download, here's a tip if you don't know. Just go into Google and type in that game. And if you click on the little shopping right here, as you can see, you can see different prices for that game, any game. And you can usually find it way cheaper than you can on um, Steam itself. So it's like under two bucks, as you can see, 188 here. And I believe this is the one I purchased. So I got the key and... <clears throat> I went to install it and this is the problem. When you actually go to install here, it's gonna prompt you and it's gonna, just like normally when you install something on Steam here on the Steam Deck, but the problem that you're gonna have is it's not gonna show you like the amount of space that the game requires to install or whatnot. And then you just hit finish, it's gonna act like it's downloading, it downloads absolutely nothing and you'll get this play icon. When you click on the play icon, nothing happens. If you go down to uh, try to manage it and see the files and verify the files, there are no files, right? It doesn't install anything. It does not download anything. And there's nothing wrong with your Steam Deck or your Steam or anything whatsoever on your uh, machine. Um, because I was able to then go onto my Steam installation on the PC and in Windows and install it. Right, so um, I just went down the same thing, normal install uh, here, and you know, the, right now it's play because it's already installed. So what you gotta do, this is my theory, what I believe is actually happening. Um, this installation was, um, is on the server, Steam rather, uh, for Windows. Uh, I'm just guessing here from my programming knowledge by seeing what's happening, and since it's, viewing the installation on the Steam Deck as Linux, most likely there's not a proper script on the server to install a Linux version of this or install the Windows version for Linux. So what actually happens is nothing. So on the Steam Decks, it doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't download anything whatsoever. So what I did, <clears throat> I went ahead on the PC and I hit install um, until it was done downloading. And then I got the play button as you see right there. So what do you need to do then is come over here to the little gear icon here, click on manage and you're gonna click on, yeah, manage and you wanna go to browse local files, okay? Once you do that, it's actually gonna bring up the Jagged Alliance folder uh, that's now downloaded and installed on your PC or Windows computer. So you're going to go back one folder and you're going to copy that folder, right? Copy it. And you're going to need a flash drive uh, like this. I have one with an adapter so I can use this onto the Steam Deck, Steam Deck USB-C. So of course, with the appropriate size, this game, I think is 11 gig. So then, you know, you're going to connect it in and you're going to paste that folder onto your um, flash drive, right? Now you're going to connect the flash drive to your Steam Deck after it's done. Now, if you, you got the folder copied, you connect your flash drive or USB hard drive to the Steam Deck and you want to go to desktop mode. So we're going to go to um, Steam um, settings. Uh, hold on. Steam and power and switch to desktop right so once you get to desktop mode the next thing you're going to do is copy that folder from the flash drive you're going to copy it to the same path in um, steam so we're going to open steam now right you uh already do the install as well on the steam deck which is not going to install anything at all so we're going to open steam i already got the icon down here 
Let me see, use this here. Let me open up Steam. Go to library. All right, so then you're gonna click on Jagged Alliance. So you can get the path, we're gonna open it up. Now, uh, once you open it up, it's gonna come here and we're gonna go to the same little gear, right? And we're gonna go to manage and we're gonna go to browse local files, which is basically the same thing we did on the PC. Now we're gonna go up one folder, right? So we're gonna go here, to go up one folder to common right and there is the jagged alliance folder yours is going to be pretty much empty just a blank folder structure uh so then you would go to um uh your flash drive which is mine is here you're going to want to right click on the folder to copy it which you can just click here by the way if your mouse or anything is ever non-responsive when you go to desktop it's probably because you don't have steam open just go to the touch screen and open steam and it'll activate everything so we're going to go to copy here and we're going to go back here to the common folder where we're at and then you would right click again this one and then you would go to paste one folder it's going to ask you to overwrite, and of course you tell it um, right into the Jagged Alliance Rage folder. It's going to take about, depending on your flash drive or your speed, maybe about five minutes, ten minutes to copy that those files over. Once it's done, you go into right back into um, Steam like this, and it's pretty much going to start uh, doing the uh, file verification by itself. It's going to verify all the files. Once it does that. That's it. You're done. You can click play, play it from the desktop, or it's also going to be on your tile in the gaming mode, and that's it. That simple. And this will work probably from any game that has this problem that is not properly, uh, I would say, defined on the Steam servers. So between Linux and Windows. So you can, oh, actually, there's one more step. You're going to want to um, turn on the uh, Proton. So you're going to go to... Yeah, the gear, properties, and you want to go, to go to compatibility. And you want to check that and use Proton 7.3, or you could do experimental, but it works fine with this one. And another thing is once you actually open it, uh, let me go ahead and open it so you can see. It's preparing to launch. As you can see, it's gonna work. This would also have a problem if you ran it on a standard Linux. It wouldn't work either, by the way. So not only on the Steam Deck, it's because of an issue on, I believe, on the uh, Steam servers with their installation script. So there it is. Um, you're gonna wanna change your keyboard or your control um, settings. So you're going to want to go to options. Um, you're going to have to use the touchpad because it's uh, currently configured for mouse. So you want to go to options. I can do it with my, uh, I already have mine set up. Once you go to options here, you're going to go to gameplay and input device. You're going to want to change that controller. That way you can, it'll have pretty much the Xbox uh, scheme for controller. Or you could always plug in keyboard and mouse. Or you could actually change uh, the game profile uh, to, to be like a keyboard and mouse scheme and use it like that as well. But I'm currently using the controller. Seems to work okay. I'm okay with it. I got to get used to it. Uh, but it works. Um, so, yeah, that is it. Uh, this will work, like I said, on any uh, game that might have an issue like this on Steam. Like and subscribe, guys.